Okay, today's the big day. I'm gonna install the Shelix helical cutter head. In other videos, I pulled off all of the small parts and I re-blued them and I ground down the tops, but unfortunately, I did not do the fence base and the fence mount yet. There's not a whole lot on this and it's flat, so that'll be easy. But this has this key right here, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of hand sanding on this. So let's get these two parts polished up get them waxed, and then we can start putting this thing back together. I had to redo this a little bit. I had forgotten this bushing right here, and I'm not 100% sure if this is correct. I got a washer here, a washer behind this, a washer here, and there was two washers on the top here. There can't be a washer on the bottom, but I still have a washer left. I'm gonna have to watch the video and see where that goes. I think the rest of it is okay, but we'll find out. And then a lot of this, this goes on the back here, and these are going to go on the cutter head. And that's what we're going to do right now. Tap these on. Okay, when I first got the cutter head, I matched it up to the old one, and it appears as though the bearings are in exactly the right spot. Hopefully that's true. So all I should need to do is put these carriers on, tap them onto here, and then just drop this into place and tighten the bolts. We'll see if that's true. I'm gonna use this to grab this, and we'll pull this out of here, and hopefully these go on real easy. Unfortunately, the only dead blow I can find at the moment is a big one. Get this stuff out of the way. Pull this out of here. Okay. Try to get it on straight. Oh, that went on real easy. Get the garbage out of there. as well. All right, I'm going to put the pulley on with this on the machine, so let's go get her on. Hopefully I have enough room to slide this in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this off.
This bolt is still sitting here from when I took this off. So I just got to get that started. And then the other one should be aligned pretty much correctly. All right. It's going in there. All right, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way up. I'll go do the other side now. This one is just barely hanging in there. Hopefully this goes in without a problem. Oh, it is. Holy moly, was that easy. I expected to have a couple problems, you know, aligning these mounts here, but went real easy. All right, now let's tighten these down. All right, nine sixteenths. I'm going to go back and forth and tighten these up evenly. Then we'll get this pulley on here. Okay, we've got our first little problem here. This key fits real nice on here, but it does not fit nice on here. It might just take a little bit of tapping to get that in there. Let's give that a try. And if not, I can file this a little bit. It doesn't look sloppy or anything. So hopefully that tapping will do the trick.
Okay, and there you have it. One Shelix helical cutter head installed. I'm gonna go try this out in just a second. The only electricity I have is back there, so I gotta wheel the machine over there. Left to do on this, I could not find my Allen wrench for this, so I had to adjust it with the vice grips, but that's okay. It's adjusted and working. What else? Oh. I have two extra washers. I can't for the life of me figure out where this one went. There's four of them just like this behind here. So maybe it goes back there. When I tune the machine up, I should find out where that goes. And this big one right here, it appears, I watched the video again, it appears to have come from back here, but it really doesn't look like there's room. Oh, I see. That would move this over a little bit. All right, that does go back here, so I'll just put that on right away. Okay, so one problem solved. I'll figure that one out, and I have to do a little bit of tightening down and adjusting, and I'll do a whole separate video on getting the tables leveled and the fence squared to the table. But for today, I'm just going to start this up. It hasn't been started in about 11 years, so... Hopefully it starts up just fine. I don't think there's going to be any problems with the cutter head, but we'll see. All right, let's wheel this over there, plug it in, and turn it on. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it looks like one more video on this. What I'll do is get this thing really cleaned up. It's filthy from sitting for 11 years. Then I'll adjust the fence, adjust the tables. I'll get the Allen wrench for this. I'll get that washer on there and figure out where that last washer goes and get everything all nice and set up. Then I'll wheel this over there and wheel the planer into there and start taking that apart. That's going to be a little bigger job, I believe. Yeah, we got a lot of rust on there. Okay, so make sure you subscribe and come back and see that. <laughs>